as hard as it gets, as depressing as it gets, as hard as it gets, and as much racism as we face on a daily basis, as much hatred as we face on a daily basis, I'm going to keep going. For three years, Laura Holland has been fighting for justice for her son, 38-year-old Jared Lowndes, who was gunned down by RCMP while parked in a Tim Hortons drive through in Campbell River, B.C. The RCMP were trying to serve a warrant, but things escalated quickly when a police dog was deployed into his vehicle, and the dog was killed when he attacked Lowndes. Police then opened fire, and Lounge was killed. His mother, Laura, says she wasn't told how many times he was shot until much later. And I've had to go to court, and I've had to fight for my son's clothing. Because if I didn't fight for his clothing, I wouldn't have seen that he was shot in the back three times. Like, what danger were they facing if they shot him in the back? So what I'm trying to do is create a pathway for other Indigenous people and other people, all people, to, to know how to get some sort of justice. And despite the fact that the Independent Investigations Office did recommend charges against the four RCMP officers in this case, the BC Prosecutor's Office refused to go to court with the recommendations. So now, Laura and her team are pursuing a lawsuit against the RCMP and looking for a more thorough look at the dozens of cases of Indigenous people who have been killed by police in Canada. So we're calling for a public inquiry into the systemic killing of Indigenous people by the police. Um, we've seen a failure of the legal system to uphold uh, the law or the administration of justice and to seek justice for these families. Two other family members are joining Laura. Martha Martin's 26-year-old daughter, Chantal Moore, was killed on June the 4th, 2020 by an Edmonston, New Brunswick city cop after he was called to do a wellness check on her. Tragically, just seven months ago, her 24-year-old son, Mike Martin, died while in RCMP custody in Surrey, B.C. They stated that, you know, my son had taken the elastic off his undergarment to asphyxiate himself. Well, going back, you know, remembering that when we got his undergarments, they were intact. So it raised more questions like, how is it possible? Like, so if he didn't use his undergarments, then, you know, and I'd asked to look at pictures, and now they weren't his pictures to share. And then, you know, so I left with more questions and answers. Laura Manson's brother, 28-year-old Julian Jones, was shot and killed by RCMP on the Tlaiquot First Nation near Tofino, B.C. I'm currently pursuing a civil lawsuit on behalf of my parents and brother as they witnessed um, the death of my brother Julian. Um, and so this has been a really long, excruciating haul um, as I don't have community support from my nation um, and my family. We've been grieving a lot lately. And like many other families, tragedy has united them in their fight for justice. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.